<laughs> How interesting. Well, I'm cheating then. Hello and welcome to escapade number 8, which takes me to a brain scan, I think, and some kind of a weird broken loading sequence, which is gonna lead us to a game that you're gonna know sooner or later, preferably later. Okay. Anyway, it's Soma. Screw it. Are we ready? I had some... Yeah, there we go. Starting. Press X to continue. Uh-huh. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, let's check the options because I am interested in subtitles. Hence are on simple color separation that's not here. Audio? Subtitles are on and closed caption, yeah, also. Okay. Saved, saved. Thank you, Ed. Let's start the game. Normal, safe. Monsters are still creepy but can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth as you play. Ah, where's the fun in that? It's Halloween oncoming. So, yeah, this is my Halloween escapade. I need to have some manners of fear. I mean, I clearly am not playing enough 100% uh, spooky games that. Are they actually scary? Abusing. Uh, jump scares isn't really that frightening. Because you can just work on gore and there are different types of fear. Anyway, it's loading. I like the loading symbol. That's the brain. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Am I oh, bleeding? That, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. The fuck? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. What is this? It's green. What's green? Ashley. The blood? I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. My brain is bleeding from the accident. Why now? I'm confused. He's nothing. He doesn't mean anything time. to me. For what? Jesus. Christ. Mother fucking cell phones. What? Yeah, I'm up. What the oh, fuck do you want? Kira? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. No. Just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry. Cool. I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay. Doesn't work if I also drink whiskey. The fuck I'm not going for a cat's can of whiskey. Especially in the jar. What is this? Huh. Pillow physics! Gotta fluff my pillow after. Yeah. Okay. Can't move this. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Better question where the hell did I put my whiskey? Wow, things are moving. Got a comb. What's a five hundred dollars specs? Is that a knife? Yeah. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Why are you talking to yourself? That's what I usually do. Robin McConnell hooked. Uh, if you text Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. 
but as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turn into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical and absolutely terrifying, Hooked will pull you in. Okay. That's interesting. That looks like a Silent Hill villain. I mean, the Silent Hill monster, technically. What's this? I don't know. Good book, though. Can I turn this shit off? Cannot. Let's see what's in here. Close. I wonder how much time do I have for that whole scan. Is there anything in here? Nope. At least I don't see anything. And the last one? Hmm. Plaid shirt. Whatever. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I don't I know. I there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? God damn it, Jesse, stop smoking. Anyhow, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you mean it. End of messages. I swear, that yeah, guy is the memory what? of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Maybe you have a memory of a goldfish, if you don't remember. Ah, another press. That's a nice flat, though. I like it. What's this? Mapping Minds, Albert Isaacson. Wildly praised as one of the most comprehensive... His accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the why how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. What about my brain? Will it also spin? This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects and behavior. Uh huh. So it's the uh, super version, and game of the year version of the book. Book of the year. Extra freaking chapters. I move the chair. Oh my god, he's a hipster. He's doing photographs of food. Fucking why? Mm, this coffee looks nice. I'm gonna make a picture of it. Because fucking reasons... Okay, this I can actually understand because that's a cute beetle. I would make that picture. <laughs> None of the cough can coffee cup, but definitely of the beetle. This one's not so bad. I mean, it's red light, so I'm guessing it picks jailwalkers. Is it like some kind of a before an accident stuff or something? Anyway, whatever. Do you have anything else? What is this book? Okay, I can move it, but I cannot read it. Anything else? I'm checking everything, as long as I'm here. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Oh, Mom! I love you! Thank you! Mother's always there for you. What? October... What? I cannot read this. Oh, that's a nice picture. Anyway, what's in the... Uh... Oh, another pamphlet. Downtown accent kings kills young... King's young woman. Yeah, kills her. Friday, April 10, 2015, Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted her by her children run a red light causing her to blindside the car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed to the pass uh, into the passenger side, Ashley Holt 23 sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results, is believed to leave him with 
permanent brain damages. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released to the police, by police, sorry, <laughs> claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. What do you fucking mean, practically unavoidable? Yeah, I couldn't have done anything. Like, I could have driven slower or just taken my children away or just fucking put them in a cage or something like that. Or just ignore the fucking children. Yep. It was unavoidable. Those people had to die. It's a fucking final destination. Some blockbuster. Japan animation, bigger than ever. This is the, Japan animation is actually animation, I think. Anyway, stunts versus CGI. What's a bottle movie? That sounds interesting. Massive Recall 2, flawless execution in theater December 13. Hold on, what does it look like actually? This is one shitty poster. I have a vibe of Terminator for this. Maybe. I guess. I mean that too looks like a Terminator thing. Let's touch the touch screen of the monitor of the laptop. From David Munshi, no graph session. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pl Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit in unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when I confirm. Mm -hmm. New prescription. From Dr. Aaron Peak. New prescription 28 April and that was 30 April so that's older. I am happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering but it's still too early to tell how it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building the pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instruction and the, uh, blah blah blah. Contact your local physician pediatrician. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Well, that explains it. I'm sending it. Yes, are you sure? Yes. Better late than never. Oh, better late than never. So you probably forgot. Here's my reminding you that I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the box behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves. Okay, so it works at the bookstore. That's kind of nice. I can fucking jump. I didn't know that. What is this? Sorry. You stay right here. Nice figurine. You're a fucking otaku. I like you. What is this? And now you have freaking light. One of uh, is this? No, I cannot. That's a nice picture. Like I like this one, the sea. Better times. Ah, uh, prescription, I guess. Grimoire presents meet and greet book signing 11 January 2015 Robin McConnell ah the guy who wrote the hooked books comics board games Grimoire also is the name of the store good name I oh, know fuck you that's just that's just I don't like it weird selfie I would say summer's coming ah I thought oh, this a good one Ah, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Is there anything? I just kicked the bucket. Uh, I mean, in in the literal sense. Do I need lights? I don't think I do. What else do we have here? Massive recall. Is that a movie or a video game? 
John Hu is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recall. This sounds like something that David Cage would write. Right. Now we have freaking triads, we have betrayal, we have supernatural themes. Yeah, David Cage is all over it. Should we make some food? Hold on. I'm gonna test the thing for popcorn capabilities. Okay. Damn it, I cannot... Send the lights on. This is the exit, right? Okay, remind Jesse pick up meds, flowers for funeral. When the hell's the funeral? Also, was it? Pick up meds? Nope, nothing about the trash. Nothing but the fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. What's this? Was this popcorn? Ah, pan pizza. Small pizza. I think I broke something. Nothing here. I kind of like this flat. Oh, that was weird. Let's close it. Maybe in the future I'm gonna need some steak knives. Nothing. Let's close everything. Nope. No chemicals or nothing. Pots and pans. I checked everything around here, didn't I? Yeah, I guess. Just move the chair. Yeah, that's the place for the chair. Okay. Huh, right. What's this? Can I turn the faucet on? Water physics. Seem better. Is. Bingo. Anything else in here? Let's get a shower, probably. Can I? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Oh, come on! Fine, let's go all stinky to the doctor. Use an object I equipped. R2 and the item is playing on the screen. Okay, let's just drink whatever this thing it is because it looks empty for some reason. It feels like milk, but the taste it's like sucking on a penny. Okay. Cute. Am I dressed by the way because I was in a I know what I heard. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. No disc. What's that noise? Anyway. Well, I can't address. Burgers, mini pizza, etc. Some weird abstract art. Nope. Socks, shoes, what is this? Simon Jarrett. Okay, what the hell can I open this? Apparently not, whatever, let's get out. 
waste a shit ton of time. Ah, the subway. Lovely. I can see my body. That's a thing. Ah. Yo, Jesse. talk to me. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should Love be able it. to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Maddie from SNL? Oh, uh, God. Jesse didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's ah. Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Fuck you. I'm not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Oh, wow. That's dark. Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. No, they'll dying never reverse that. You're the worst support ever. <laughs> Fuck you. Say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Yeah, I'm not making any promises. Won't find me in a phone booth. All a big setup. I'm guessing you're not Clark Kent then. Or are you Clark Kent? Freaking conspiracy theories, assholes. Think people like you voted for Trump, didn't they? No way, it's 2015, so Trump isn't president yet. He's announced his candidacy, so yeah. People like Hello? you will vote for Donald Trump. Dr. Munchie? Summon in. What the hell is with this place? I need lights. Where is everyone? Not else. This place would be busy. Like, what kind of a freaking doctor's point is this? Like, they are painting the walls. Oh shit, am I in Canada? Right, Toronto. Okay, I got it. That that missed me. The whole the whole thing. I don't even know what that flag is, but still. Nice, what do we have here? I'm gonna read some private emails because why the fuck not? We've got a few hours to get hold Simon Jared, let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception, are you ready here? Call me SAP. Hi Paul, talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the new scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. So they allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up we can get free. Uh, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of the blah 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 blah. Found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, took the person away, and gave him a voucher to pass the pre-fine and get a hold of someone. Honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in emails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case I forget. Okay, I need to find a note then. Um, can I crouch? Yes, I can. Oh, that's a computer. Photos are safe. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing 2501, right? Moment there. Tweak for right length. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's 2501. Anything else we have in there? Like a gun? Oh, wait, it's Canada, no guns. This is a safe country. Trial and error. Huh. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. 
explained Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Mushi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with a simple thing like exercise therapy and light medication. But Mushi and Berg uh, are not looking for a miraculous panacea, it's about finding the optional treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates directions in Mushi. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurog can well use the blah 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 is going. Anyway, what is this, a USB? Can I take it? That's one big USB. You know what? Fuck it. Get back in here. Can't use you properly. Anything else? Nothing? Okay. Wait, what was the damage? 2501? Fucking to remember this. 2501, yeah, my memory is good. It's almost like I don't have a brain disease or something. And still water. Like, this place looks in disarray. Yeah, that's better. We are not wasting any electricity, just natural sunlight. Okay, let's go. Two, five, oh, one. Nice. Hmm. Cool. Well, this is closed. Room 361. Well, can open here. Cannot open this place. Ah, explosives. I could use those later. I can guess this is the place where I need to go, but first I'm going here. Because fuck rules, I guess. What is this? That's one giant syringe. Anything? Nothing. Anything lower? Nothing. That's a computer. Books. Stacks. Supercomputers. Monitors, just in case. Magazines, etc. Can't use this, can't use this. Is that a nail gun or a drill? Electric drill? Some drinks. Huh. I'm not certain what I'm looking at here. Pictures of brain, brain waves. A lot of monitors. Radial nerve. The clock doesn't work. Well, the program is not have time to actually code this to just run. Or are the IT guys not fucking using this? I mean, they don't count the time. Yo! Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Yeah. Muchy? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Muchy. But I'm working on it. Okay. Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. Why am I being we scanned by a gentle way to work students? With reconstruction to help people like you. Awesome. My uh, head is you, bleeding. Uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I am fucking ready. Just, okay, maybe not that much. I'm going to see whatever it is you're working here on.
Nothing new, nothing here. Please, have a seat. I want to talk to you, so, though. So, what exactly are we doing? We need to take We're going to do two a steps scan back. of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and uh -huh. bombard it with stimuli. Why? The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In okay. Short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's uh -huh. not just a study. This will actually help me. Probably. Hope we so. hope. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> right. This won't kill me, by the way, will it? You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. You have no fucking idea. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And yeah. if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years. Cool. Decades, even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Okay. That sounds cool. I really hope you're right about this. I'm gonna explain every dialogue. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. Cool. So, cool. What do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Nah, I changed my Let's mind. Get started. Take a seat. Okay. I talked everything that I wanted to. Let's see this Matrix cook-up contraption. Where do those things go to? I mean, I don't see any straps, so technically that shouldn't be too invasive. Okay, let's get seated. You do know what you're doing there. In turn. Oh god, it's like Johnny Mnemonic. At least I think that what the hell. All right. Let me I'm in VR. You I can... are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Maybe. Born of Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Oh, right. he's Black the same age as I am. That's Three, nice. Six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians uh -huh. thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Yeah. Well. Let's hope they're wrong. What kind of a stupid student Ready? are you that you don't know that? I know hey, that. Fucking smile. My controller is vibrating. I don't know why. Okay. What happened? Uh, Dr. Manchi. Hopefully. Hello? Yo. Mr. Munchi? Did something go wrong? Where is everyone? It's dark around here. Can I move? This uh, isn't funny. It's supposed to be some kind of a joke. Hold on, where am I? I I'm not supposed to put myself in... Stressful situations. Also, this looks definitely different than the chair this is I was in. Stressing me out. Kind of. I'm freaking out now. Okay, hey! Anyone? What the? F wow. Uh, what is this place? How did I get here? Good question. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Just try not to get your brain to bleed out, because that's gonna be fatal for both of us. You because you're gonna die, and me because I won't be able to play anymore, so... I'm no terminal from service console. Well, that doesn't work. Some rickety ass chairs. Wow, anything? Well, this doesn't look like that nice building I was in about five minutes ago. What else do we have here? Insert Omni tool to access. Thank you, I know there's new pulse, whatever. 
Omni tool chip install. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Okay, toolbox. Uh, how do I use this crap? Okay, this thing is shining. I cannot use this. Hold on. What the hell is that? Can I leave? Guess not. Hold on, let's just... Wait, where was the power switch? There it was. Let's close it. Oh, this... Hmm. Let's see if my human ingenuity and aggression can do shit. Yeah. Remember, kids, if all else fails, break shit. Our species has done that for fucking centuries and usually works. Hmm. Padlocked. You know what? You you go back in there. You're you're not. Yeah, let's, we're, we're not leaving any traces. Can I pick up the glass shards? N -n guess not. The fuck is this? Ah, shades of. Yeah, you also get inside. Spider. Shades of alien isolation over here. Yeah. Okay, that gives me an access point. Saving. Thermal plant, break room, observation tower, observation tunnel, security, tech depot. Robot dock, service station, storage, tech depot, break room. Okay, let's check the break room first. I think this is machine hand. Okay, I didn't like the sound of that. I can't see my body at this point. Weird. Apparently, I can see my body only when I'm sitting down. What is this? It looks shiny, but I cannot touch it. Data buffer available. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Okay, what the hell was that? How did I do that? I don't know, but the question, where are we, and why is this in Japanese? Ooh, that's a toilet. Yeah, that's one way not to put your reflection in the, in the thing. I'm sorry. Only one stool, seriously? Uh, that's gonna cause some problems depending on how many people usually work here. Well, there's nothing. What is this? An air filter? Ew! Yeah, physics. 
munch print, I don't even know what that is. Spinach, miso, oh I want some miso, how the fuck, how do you work this shit, because I'm hungry. Put it in the square and I think we have the power for this. Damn it, I would really have some miso. Okay, let's close the refrigerator, because I assume that's the refrigerator. Cans, but they're opened. Problematic. So, uh, somebody put spinach all over the freaking Roman Empire insignia. There's nothing here. Anything in there? Home is a state of mind. Yeah, that's interesting. I prefer home is a little hardest, but... Okay. weird sounds are weird okay this thing's broken and that's some weird techno biological biotech shit anything nope whatever this thing is hmm the hell I'm going crazy what is this why is my vision going all crazy Paphos 2 Upsilon Uh Hello Hey you Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? You're right What's that? Where does that thing go? What's that? I'm gonna crouch down. Fuck this shit. going on 
I am freaking out. Kaimats. I mean, this place has. Damn it, I hate this. Okay, brief easy. We can do this. We're not dead yet. Okay, this is closed. What about this? Also closed. I mean, good thing I was already freaking sneaking about for half an hour at this point, so yeah. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I don't want to be anywhere near that place. down here swipe control omni tool damn it I don't have an omni tool I can't hear nothing I can't see nothing damn it Don't tell me I have to go through that road. Ah, Ouch. Shit. Okay, I just got zapped by electricity. This is bad. really have to go there. I don't want to go there. Damn it. Okay, easy does it. Okay, whatever was in here just left. Which is kind of good for me. So I'm just running to the freaking sealed door like... I mean, what strength would you have to... I don't have no lights, so I have no idea what's going on up there. There we go, that's the Omni thing. Let's do the instructions first. Omni Tool version 2.5. The Omni Tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behavior and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni Tool automatically adapts its program to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize use error. The Omni Tool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omni Tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C11 to 21 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni Tool. 
Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip models including but not limited to A1, A2, high double T, juicy, juicy I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. Hold on, I also need this uh, Omni tool. Well, that doesn't help me a lot. AI, Helper J. Anything else I can do with this? Okay. This person has no head. And my brain isn't leaking blood yet, so that's a thing. Bloody. So now where should I go? Should I return back to where I was or damn it that was loud? Hold on. Damn the foot is open for a second. The fuck? I saw light. That's not for here. That's nice. Come on, come on. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Okay. Uh, first things first, system status. Run setup. Warning, remote access denied. Server offline. Warning, main power suspended. Initiate WAU setup A4 something something. Program unreliable. Denied. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Omni tool. Manage tool chip. Welcome back, Luis Meron. That's not me. I'm in better condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Not insert. I uh, cannot update that. Okay, not insert Cortex chip. Unlock toolbox. Cool. Orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You Hack. shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Okay. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. That's a nice work ethic. Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Okay, I think I'm gonna check out on that offer sooner or later. Okay, let's go back. What's my inventory? 
Inventory, basic dorsal suits, one six. One okay, two okay, three, unknown contamination, four okay, five in use, six in use. All high matsu power suits stored in at Omicron. Free progress S six S scan. Okay, did I just open the toolbox? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, let's shove this thing in here. Cool. Ah, I don't want to break it. I put on one of the suits. Hold on, we have no power at this point. Omni tool, tool chip. Okay, update. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Okay, cool. Now I can hack shit. Pilot seat number three. Okay, I don't get any of this. Construct network. Offline. Status? Offline. Can I see it in this again? Guess not. Can I switch the power back on? Guess not. That's problematic. Okay. So that's the beginning of the story. I think I saw something here. Okay, something just broke through this place. Really broke for this place. I don't know what I'm hearing. I don't like it. Let's see this place first. I'm gonna gas myself. Shouldn't I maybe put on a suit? No, maybe not. Let's see what's through here. I cannot see. that wait oh I know where I am okay Scan. I close the door behind me god damn it not good that was loud what the fuck I'm underwater? Well I wasn't expecting that.
Okay, that's weird. Psychotic machines, you say? That doesn't sound very helpful. Oh look, it's a cyber shark. Like nothing happened, everything still looks the same, all silence alike. That's a fish. Nice drawing, by the way, someone's a good artist. I don't think I'll be able to draw a shark like that. I could copy that shark, but definitely not draw it from scratch. I could use some tries, but yeah. What is that? What am I looking at? Jellyfish? A map? Tail of a whale? And some cyber fishes. Yeah, that's the abyss. And some very, very deep uh, sea fish. Damn it. That's also a very scary environment. Because of the seclusion under the sea. This is not a normal habitat for humans. Back and different. Fixed structure gel they can't shake. We use freaky fishes. Cyber fishes. Freaky fishes. Shades of Bioshock also. Okay, now where am I? This place has light. It seems a lot more... Yeah, game saved. That's... Security Observation Tower. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but it's missing me. The fuck. Um, and what are you supposed to be? I want to touch it. That was a bad idea. What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. What doesn't hurt? What happened? It's fucking dark. I don't know what it just did. I touched an alien organism and apparently it healed me. Nice. This is like Bioshock means alien isolation. Okay, let's just... I think I'm running low on my time for this escapade. Very loud. I hear heartbeat. Is it my own or someone else's? Yeah, I think that's my heartbeat. The fuck was that? I am not alone in here. And I don't like it. Surprisingly, I don't know why, but I played Alien Isolations from beginning to the end. And the alien never actually followed me into the vents. I don't know why. I never met the alien in the vents in that game. Is this thing locked? Yeah, of course it is. I don't think I'm alone in this place. Which is unlike aliens because I had a eerie sense of peace when I was in events in alien isolation. This does not happen here. My controller is vibrating, my heart is palpitating, and I have fucking no idea how am I gonna survive this. Thank god for the autosaves. Other than that, I will be screwed. Okay, let's get out of here. Now where am I? Upsilon. Pathos 2. More of that weird gunk. Anything else we have in here? 
Well, this robot is breathing. Which I have no idea why is it breathing. Hold on. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can confirm its effects on WAU. Issue has been reported to SSE Vulture. Hold on, I need to. Some okay, it's a Russian name. I think I already touched that thing, so yeah, that's thanks for the warning, but that's a little bit too late. Um, hello. Hey, can you hear me? What are you doing? Are you in pain? Are you chilling? Is this like some kind of a robot being on high? Because I have fucking no idea what's going on. Talk to me. One one zero one zero zero one one. I don't know what I just said, but whatever. Nothing. Okay, you are not helpful at all. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna unplug you. I'm sorry. Okay, this is weird. But you're sucking. Uh, I feel I feel bad killing this robot. I really do, but I, I I'm sorry, but I I need this. I killed a robot and I feel bad about it but I need to progress so god damn it I don't know what to do right now oh no what is this is this radio signal blocked insufficient power anything else we have in here that I can use yeah this is a warning I mean, yeah, I think there's that kind of sort of a robot high. She was chasing the dragon. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I, I could plug her back in after this. Like, I'm gonna try at least. Okay. Hold on. Uh, okay, this is... I did something. We have... Power and this thing's got a target. Hello, turbine. Can I plug in the robot again? Just plug, plug it in. Oh, what is what, what's happening? Hello, is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yo? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, damn relays. Where are you now? 
uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. I killed a robot, yeah, by the way. I feel bad about that. Somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, okay. Hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay. Right. Uh, comm center. There's a trophy. And, uh... I'm waiting for the order save. Wow, this place is just... Wow. I wonder how hot is this place. Oxygen unavailable. That's interesting. Anyway, why is there a target reticle in this thing? Never mind. Let's just keep on moving until the uh, safe state arrives and I'm just gonna finish this escapade at that point. There we go. Yeah. Finishing it in this hot place where I can just not chill but um, get a tan or sweat out those extra kilograms. Yeah, it's a sauna, so yeah. That's the end of Escapade. Number 8, I think. Okay, whatever. Soma is a good game, by the way. Hmm.